<coughs> Excuse me. I have ADHD, and pretty much what that means is that I'm really cool. No, but for real, what that, like, I, I have, like, all these random, like, ideas, and, like, I'll wake up and I'll be like, man, I am completely obsessed with this thing. And then the next day it'll go away. So this morning, I woke up and I was like, man, I just saw this in the basement yesterday. And I want to learn how to tie trout flies, but I don't really, you know, I don't, I don't fly fish at all. I don't even trout fish. I figured I could learn how to tie me some Walter jigs. So today, that's what I'm going to try to do. Uh, I just spent the last like hour on YouTube trying to learn how to do this. Uh, I still don't really know what I'm doing, but hey, I'm going to give it a shot. We can learn together. I kind of opened some stuff up, figured very little out. And I was just like, well, why don't I just make this into a video? So uh, we're not learning how to tie flies today. We're learning how to tie walleye jigs. All right, so step one is uh, take this contraption here. Don't touch the shaft area because it's super oily. Now we got this section down here. This is what's going to hook up to the table. As you can see, if I spin it, it's going to get smaller. This is a really small table, so um, we're going to have to, we're going to be spinning this for a while. Bam, it has been spun. Ah, that lighting is much better. Okay, so now we got this knob. Ooh. Okay, that knob does that. All right, sick. Okay, so that knob makes the shaft go up and down. So I just set that, oh, okay. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Black sweatshirt was not the move today. Now you guys can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, so we have two mechanical components here. We have this uh, little knobby thing which spins the head. And then we got this which is kind of like a nut that just screws uh, looser and tighter. So pretty much in the five minutes that I've experimented with this, I've noticed that this, this handle piece right here makes the head of this close. So hopefully you guys could see this. If I lift this back handle piece, this kind of opens and closes. So if I drop it, it opens. If I pull it up, it closes. And the amount that you want to close pretty much depends on how much you tighten this nut right here. So the more you loosen it, the more tension it puts on this back handle and the more that this front piece closes. I don't actually know what this piece does. It's kind of like a, another little screw daddy piece. I have no idea what that does. So right now we're going to start with my favorite color jig which is a little glow in the dark with an orange and black eye. Oh, oh no, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna put a paper towel down between the table and uh, the device here. This way it doesn't like scratch up the table or anything like that. Mom, don't be mad. Okay, so I kind of figured it out a little bit. I also flipped this around to the other side because it's gonna be easier for me to work on it and stuff. But let me flip it back real quick. So, there's a lot of moving components to this. So if I just take the jig out, boom. All right, so we already figured out that this is what opens and closes the head piece, right? So this is going boop, 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 boop. So you put the hook up in the head, you lock it down into place like that. All right, cool. So the problem that I was having, I just probably spent about like 15 minutes not getting anywhere is apparently this piece moves too so you have so many moving pieces here so this screws up and down and this pretty much this also affects how much this closes so if you have a really small hook you kind of want to screw this up this way it closes lighter and it's not and it doesn't break your hook I forgot to even explain where I got this from. I, I just said I found it in the basement. It was gifted to my dad a long time ago and you know, we're not fly fishermen so we never found like a real use for it until I figured out that it's pretty much the same. Uh, uh, uh. It's pretty much the same exact thing for walleye jigs. So I was super pumped when I like thought of that and like figured that part out because 
that's something that we love to do. We love to catch walleye. All right, so like I said, I already started messing with it. So I found this little doohickey here. And this is kind of, you put your spool on this and then the line comes out of here and that's what you use to wrap the jig with. Uh, here's some of the, the line or the string. Bear with me here, I don't know any of the terminology. Here's some copper, that's pretty cool. Here's a fly tying manual that I should probably read because it literally says how to get started, but I don't like reading. So there goes that. Here's some fancy scissors. Here's some fancy shiny string. It's not really string, it's more like a like ribbon kind of deal. Oh my gosh, we got this. This is called hair's mask. So I think that this is literally like rabbit, like rabbit head or something. This is like half of a rabbit's head. And then here's just a whole bunch of different materials that we have to work with. Alrighty guys, so I found some super glue. What the? I'm just kidding, this is wood glue. We don't have any super glue. I'm gonna go put this wood glue back in our junk drawer and I think we're gonna have to take a field trip. We're gonna shut the lights off. See mom, I'm being a responsible child. Uh, now we're gonna head over to Stewie's. Um, try to find some super glue. I assume that they have it there. They have like everything there. Yep, nothing like your check engine light being on. This truck, I, I love this truck so much, but it has its issues. Whoops. Yup, we have a ride. Got cans flying out of my truck. Spot one, Stewie's, they didn't have it. Stewie's never lets me down, but I mean, hey, it is what it is. He said they used to have it, but for some reason they took it off their like set of stuff, so I don't even know where I'm gonna go now. All right, folks, my camera's on low battery, so hopefully this is quick. Stewie's number two, hopefully these guys have it. Coughed. So what you doing with the camera? Oh, I do like some YouTube stuff. I do like fishing YouTube stuff. Did the snow screw up your videos or not? Uh, no, I do ice fishing too, so oh, okay. uh, the snow actually helped it. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, you too. We cop the Gorilla Glue, or not, it's not even Gorilla Glue, it's Crazy Glue. Heck yeah, precision tip. All right, y'all, Crazy Glue has been acquired. Apparently they sealed this package with Crazy Glue as well, cause it's impossible to get open. We got the spool, uh, attached to this crazy uh, little thing and we got the line through the tube. So now I'm pretty sure we're, we're ready to start wrapping. Um, we gotta choose some materials and then we're gonna, we're gonna start, we're gonna start this thing. Okay, so I think we're definitely gonna start with some marabou because me and Pop, our favorite color of hair jig to throw for walleye is white. My favorite jig head color is glow in the dark. So I'm thinking a little glow in the dark white action is gonna be so clutch. I think we're also gonna add a little bit more natural uh, brown in there as well, like on the belly, but we'll get to that in just a little bit. All right, so this is clothing change number three on the day, just to try to get you guys the best possible image. And I think you guys could see that jig head pretty well um, now. So now we're just gonna kind of get started here. Um, we're gonna crack into this super glue. All we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pin just puncture a hole right in the top. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a little bit of super glue right along the top of this jig head. Now I'm gonna take some of this string here. This would be a lot easier if this was flipped over. All right, so we're actually gonna flip it over for this. And that's what this bigger ring is for, is to secure this piece in place. There's a lot of mechanical components to this thing. So I flipped it around this way, the eye of the jig isn't in our way when we're trying to work. So I'm just gonna take this, I'm gonna kinda stick some of it down there. Let it dry up for a second. Now we're just gonna kinda get some nice, not super tight, but not super loose either. But we're just gonna get some wraps in there. Try to get that string all squared away.
Now we're just gonna take this. Now we're just gonna take this little excess string right from the beginning. We're just gonna snip that right at the base. So we can make this look as clean as possible. And we're gonna do a couple more wraps. Oh, my string just broke, so that's definitely not it. Bang, I got it back through the tube. It doesn't take as long after you've done it a couple times. Alright, so now we're going to take out some of our, our uh, marabou um, hair here. I don't exactly know what this is, what kind of like hair or whatever this is. Um, I'm going to take a little bit off. This stuff is super soft and it's like exactly what I'm looking for here. So that's obviously going to be way too long. So I'm going to cut from this end. I want it to go just like a little bit past the end of the hook here, just like a teeny little bit. Okay, so that's kind of like the length that I want. So now we're gonna take some more crazy glue. We're just gonna dab it right on top of the string that we just did. And now we're gonna bunch up our stuff here. And just throw it right on there. Now we're gonna need some more crazy glue because the my string fell off that first time. So we're gonna kinda have to like redo that like beginning part again. Ah oh, man, it keeps breaking for me. Okay, so I definitely have to be, learn to be a lot more careful with this because it, it breaks a lot easier than you'd think. So again, I'm gonna have to dab a little bit of crazy glue on there. It's all a learning process. You gotta try to learn it as best you can. So that's what we have so far. This this is not looking too bad, considering it's my first attempt. So we still do have to cut these two. Oh, yep, let's kind of pull any excess guys out. Alrighty, so now we're gonna loosen this piece a little bit here. And that should allow us to flip this over. Very nice. And we're just gonna adjust this. Yep, and just like that. Alrighty. Okay, see you in a little bit. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, that was my mother. So now, now that we got it flipped over and everything, we're gonna take some more of this marabou hair. So we're gonna apply some more crazy glue. Just like that. Now, something that we're gonna try to do this time that I forgot to mention last time. So we're gonna get our hair on there. We're gonna give it a couple wraps, a couple loose wraps. And then we're gonna kinda like push it around the jig a little bit. I don't think that really did a whole lot, but, but we're gonna kinda make sure that it's fluffed all, all around, all over the jig. Note to self, super glue is really sticky, so I might have this marabou hair stuck to me like forever. That's okay. So now, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use some of this elk right here, and I'm just gonna put that kind of like, uh, hmm, do I want it on the back or do I want it on the belly? All right, so now I'm just gonna try to tie a little overhand knot action. No idea how this is gonna work. So now I'm just gonna dab it up with some super glue, just teeny little bits. And then we're just gonna coat the, the string with it and chop her off here. Boom, bang folks, and there's our jig. Glow in the dark head, a little white um, marabou. 
Then we got some elk for a little bit of natural coloration. So now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kinda take my scissors uh, around the edge here and just kinda clean it up just a little bit. Um, make it look a little bit nicer. Kinda take off all your loose um, pieces. And I'm also just gonna trim this skirt down just a little bit. I don't want it to be too big, um, cause then otherwise what'll happen is you'll kinda miss fish. But I'm just gonna do it in kinda like a little bit of an arc motion. This way it doesn't lose all of its shape. So I'm gonna bunch it together. I'm just gonna do it just a little bit. I'm gonna puff it up a little bit and bam, you have a perfect little jig right there. Alrighty y'all, so here is the final product. Um, I just ran it under some water to see what it would look like. And here's like one that you would buy at a store. So we're pretty dead on, um, pretty accurate. And um, I'm super pumped it turned out this good. I definitely need to get some white um, chenille stuff because the black just doesn't really go with the theme. You wanna say hi? She doesn't wanna say hi. The black doesn't really go super with the theme, but you know, it's kind of what we had, so we were working with what we had. But glow in the dark jig, white marabou, and then some elk. I'm super pumped with how this turned out, considering it's only my first one. I learned a ton, and I hope you guys did too. I hope if you guys are interested in trying this at home, you definitely do, because I mean, it's cool. It's a, it's a, it's a fun hobby to get into. Um, being that I've only done one, you know, sometimes having ADHD is a good thing because it gets you into a lot of random hobbies. But, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you watched to this point, thank you so much. I hope that this wasn't too boring of a video. Drop a comment if you're good at this kind of stuff. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Tell me how I can fix it. Um, I'm really interested in, in learning how this kind of stuff works. Um, I mean, it's completely new to me, so please try to help me out uh, if you can. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Deuces, folks. Wow. Let me just show you guys the mess that I now have to clean up. That's all from me. All that. Keep a garbage can nearby.